Hello, this is Hal Harrell, your school superintendent, and I wanted to visit with you a little bit about uh, graduation and the thought that has gone into that process. Uh, for many weeks, we have been planning graduation and speculating on what might happen with graduation. We were waiting on TEA to release some uh, the opportunities we would have for graduation. Uh, they did this past week, and there was the opportunity for a uh, hybrid situation, hybrid ceremony, a virtual ceremony, a vehicle ceremony, and an in-person ceremony. And we considered each and every one uh, virtual. We didn't talk about it too much, nor the hybrid. It really came down to uh, the vehicle ceremony and the in-person ceremony. When we look at the in-person ceremony, which would be kind of the traditional at the Honey Bowl, uh, we had the opportunity to have 321 graduates. Uh, that would bring in possibly up to another 15 or 1600 uh, audience patrons if each graduate would bring about five uh, five guests. That would put with the graduates and those attending and staff almost 1900, 2000 people in one location at the Honey Bowl. In addition to that, we also looked at the spacing situation for our graduates. Uh, we went and looked at the field and kind of marked off where We'd kind of have to start with our first graduates and uh, how close some would be and how far away many would be. Uh, graduation ceremony itself, uh, we'd have to respect the social distancing requirement. Uh, when students were to arrive, we would have to bring them in one by one, space them out separately, away from their friends and away from family. Families would have to be assigned a place to sit, uh, up to five members. You would sit in an area and we would move six feet and then uh, have another family. We would have to skip rows, uh, which really created a very impersonal situation. And what we've been asked to do for, by the state, by the federal government, as far as ensuring safety and security of our students, of our community, and of our staff. And that was also a big factor, is what could we do with the safety and security? Could we do a very good job in monitoring who people came in contact with through that process. Uh, there'd be no on-field pictures after graduation. We would have to remain separate. Uh, on the departure, we'd have to respect the social distancing as best we could. Uh, and one of the things that I also had to consider was the crowds surrounding the fence and the interaction that may play as people exited or even arrived at the Honey Bowl for that in-person ceremony. The vehicle ceremony we also considered as well. Uh, that definitely not the traditional, traditional location or traditional aspect, yet as we looked at it, we saw that we could do some things that really provided for the social distancing aspect. So we'll have the valedictorian, the salutatorian, the farewell address, they'll be on the stage, it'll be streamed live, uh, it'll also be on the radio, and parents and get close, watch, and video as they're uh, delivering their speeches. The tape measure laying on the ground would be the front location of the stage where the graduates will actually receive their diploma. Just in front of the stage will be the camera that is carrying the live stream on YouTube. Uh, so you can see the quality of picture your graduate will have when they're receiving their diploma and parents, you'll be oh, 8, 10, 12 feet behind the person doing the live stream and you will have a great view of your child getting their diploma and feel free to take picture, video, whatever of your child receiving their diploma. Uh, families at that point would be together as opposed to separate and it would allow us to be more organized. We can provide numbers as far as parking spots. Uh, we'll have staff members, actually the Valley Police Department, our police department, organizing and directing traffic. Parents and graduates, as you can envision, our cars will proceed this direction from Studer Street direction towards the high school parking lot. Each graduate and their family will receive a parking space, a numbered parking space, so you'll know exactly where to park and you won't have to worry about getting here early, being in a rush, 
or anything like that, you will have a numbered space. And most of those spaces will be over at the Morales Junior High. And we'll have people there to assist you. Your graduate will get out right here, walk across the grass, and enter onto the concrete walkway. As we move towards the stage setting, you will follow your graduate along as your graduate has to stop, you'll stop. As we approach the stage, they will continue to follow the graduate in front of them. There'll be some sort of stenciling for the graduates to know how much distance to keep between one another. Our stage will be set up uh, about where the you can see the tape, measuring tape being displayed. And our announcer will be to the right. Before the graduate enters the stage, their name will be called. You should be beside your graduate in your vehicle and given the opportunity to take pictures, video, video the whole walk if you would. Enter the stage, receive their diploma, take a picture, and then they will exit the stage. Here under the atrium, we'll have the professional photographer set up here. The graduate will meet up with the school administration and once again take a picture. Once the, once the graduate takes their picture, has their picture taken under the atrium, they'll move, they'll follow the sidewalk, and they'll rejoin you in your car somewhere along this curb. You will exit the parking lot and you'll take a right on 2nd Street and then from 2nd Street you'll take a right onto Coyote Trail and if you and your family so chooses y'all may enter on the south side of the high school property for family photo opportunities. We'll have three locations set up there for photos if that's what you choose to do. If you've already taken your family photos you don't need to stop you can go on to next destination. Once the cars exit the north side of the high school by the auditorium and the gymnasium, you have the opportunity to come here and have family photos in this area. We will have three stations set up, uh, manned by staff, so that everyone in your family may get into the photo if you so choose. But there's plenty of parking, plenty of driving space uh, for ease to get in and out and hopefully provide a great opportunity for you and your family members to take the photos. The last area that we'll have will be down here by the stand where the band directors work. Uh, we'll have the spirit bus down here with banners and feel free to take pictures at all three locations. However, if you just choose one, that's, that's perfectly fine too. Our goal for our graduates is to have an exceptional evening. And to do that in a safe, secure environment, I believe we must have the vehicle ceremony. As more develops as we go through this process, we will continue to share with you uh, maybe aerial photographs uh, as things develop, uh, the route procedures, uh, all those elements that will be necessary and important through this process. I appreciate all your support.